coach on the road, and I got my hero back here in Chicago, Dylan Cease. First oh, of all, welcome you. back. That's good to be back. I appreciate it. I'm, uh, I don't know if I'm quite worthy of hero status, but I'll take it. You're still my hero. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> thanks. You just moved on from us, that's all. Yeah, all right. it was, uh, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. Let's, you know, we take you know we're taking our youngsters behind the scenes. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, you were with the White Sox, now you with the Padres. I mean, what does that do for a major league baseball player when you go through that transition? Yeah, it's uh, you know, it really is just a couple of weeks of learning new names, new faces, getting used to how things are run, and uh, I, I found that really within a couple of weeks I felt pretty comfortable. Mm -hmm. So what does it do psychologically? I mean, you hear the rumors, we all heard the rumors. Yeah, and I'm I know. Having been a scout on the inside, I know you, you or your agent then got wind that there's probably going to be a trade before that actually take place. So it's not like you're actually getting cut off guard. It's just win or win. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I try not to focus too hard on that. I definitely saw all the rumors and, you know, I would get texts and whatnot. But for the most part, I was really just focused on uh, what I needed to do perform because uh, at the end of the day, I just want to be competent. So that's that's always been my main focus. But getting it out of the way is nice too. You know, I'm sure if I was still there, I probably would have, in the back of my mind, kind of been expecting it to happen at any time. You know. And then again, the coach in me. This is the coach now. <laughs> yeah. The coach in me. You leaving one family, you coming over to a new family. Yeah. Now that's making it more tougher. Yeah, it's uh, you know obviously I'm, I was there for however many six seven years whatever it was um, had a lot of good relationships with staff and, and teammates so uh, that's always challenging but it's not you know we still got phones and FaceTimes and whatnot so I can still see everybody and talk to everybody so uh, it's not like it's not like it's gone forever. So you know I'm used to seeing you in the black and gray now I got to see you in the in the brown and gray a little bit different look. It is you like it. If you were in it, I like it. Oh, thanks, okay. yeah. So, I mean, you know, San Diego, what is that What is that like compared to Chicago? A whole different world. Yeah, I, I really haven't spent a lot of time in San Diego yet, so it's hard for me to give a full uh, breakdown of everything. I, I know I love Chicago personally, so if uh, if at my tenure with San Diego, I end up loving San Diego as much, I know it was, it was a good tenure. Mm -hmm. So what are your fondest memories that you want to leave with Chicago? Honestly, I don't even think I've really reflected too hard on that so far. Um, I mean, definitely, you know, probably just little things like hanging out with my teammates, going to dinners and, and stuff like that. But we, we, you know, especially in 21, we did a lot of winning and, um, you know, there was a lot of good performances mixed in there. So it's kind of a mix of everything. Well, I don't want to hold you too long because I know you got a ball game tonight, but good seeing you. You too. And good luck to you. Appreciate it. All right. The main thing first they have to have the opportunity they have to have different outlets to be able to develop um that player you have a, a average player you know they're raw talent and so they need at least two or three maybe even four years of development to get to that next level you know to get even part of their talent you know with with the other players so um we need leagues like this to be able to showcase the league have uh players another opportunity uh you know to showcase and develop that talent um, but it, it takes time. Sounds like an exciting time. Again, it's uh, it's needed. Definitely need uh, some more developmental leagues to give uh, ball players an opportunity uh, just to progress and see where they're at. There's uh, there's those diamonds in the rough. There's those players that are hidden gems. Uh, they haven't been discovered yet. That uh, sounds like that's what the league is for, just to give them another opportunity, uh, some more exposure, some more experience. You know, advance and see how far they can go. Click on the subscribe button and become a subscriber.